Hey, Small Scale Gardening, this is Tom. I'm back here in the garden. It is a gorgeous day. Probably gonna get some rain. So I'm trying to get, uh, trying to get the plastic or the liner inside the, this is the hybrid rain gutter grow system here. So uh, just to explain what this is, this is a self-watering system kind of developed on the concept of that Larry Hall came up with, with rain gutter grow system. So I've got a, a platform here made up of spare wood and I've got, uh, I basically have a watering trough here, kind of like these guys, just a little different. So this is gonna be my reservoir inside here. And the plants are gonna grow in these grow bags, these root pouches full of good soil, compost and, uh, and some vermiculite. And they're gonna be in the water. I'm gonna have a small amount of water in the bottom here. Now you can see I've got holes, <laughs> I've got slats in the bed so what are we going to do here we're going to put in a liner in the base of this to make it waterproof and these are two by fours on the side so we don't want that much water in the bed um, i mean we could but we don't want too much in the bed i mean that's three inches of water that's a little bit too much so i'm going to install i've got this bulkhead that i got off of amazon and um, it's three quarter inch pipe essentially and i'm going to attach this bulkhead inside the grow bed here i'm going to have a pipe that's going to come up kind of like the snorkel concept here and i can regulate the water inside of the garden uh, the hybrid rain gutter grow system so i could put it on the side i could do that and i might do that i'm not sure uh, the one thing I'm, i was just designing out here is I've got a support underneath right about halfway through. So I don't want to get, I don't want this to um, get, I don't want to get into that two by four, which is right about where that X is. So I could put it here, I could put it here, I could just put it in the side, and that would be an option too. In fact, that would probably be the easiest option is to put it in the side of the, of the system and just let it free drain out. I might do that too. Then I don't have to worry about the studs or any of that. I've got a, uh, I've got a drill bit. I can drill this out. I'm just trying to decide how I want to do it. So there's benefits and, and uh, you know, I could just build a snorkel kind of like that one. And that might be easy too. So I'm just kind of playing around with that. Um, and like I said, if I do get into it, uh, in, into the side, then, I could put it in there pretty easily. Now, the reason I was considering putting it into the bottom is that at the end of the season, I can drain out all the water and uh, leave it dry, probably even remove the, guard, the grow bags, cover this, and so there won't be water sitting in it over the winter. Just a thought. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with that. But uh, that's the plan. So these peppers are growing really well so far. Starting to get some peppers coming. So they really like... These grow beds, I mean, some of them, these were my seedlings that did survive. These are the survivors um, from when I brought them out and took them from LED into direct sun and they just did not like that. I also have a white pine that Julie and I get up, up north um, that I want to plant on our land. But uh, I need to fill up the grow bags to 100% full and I want to put in this drain and the plastic before I head out. Now, just for updates on the other grow beds, I mean, these are wicking beds. There's drain tile in the bottom, there's soil, there's a small sand layer down there too, and everything is just self-watering. This is a snorkel where I can water down in the reservoir. Everything is growing like gangbusters. The onions look great. Tomatoes are coming along. I put up a trellis here this week, or last weekend. I can start to string these up before I go over in this bed you know potatoes are starting to come up it's awesome peas are looking strong the new stuff that's coming man they are rocking they are doing awesome so i need to make sure they get up on the trellis like some of these these folks and just grow baby um i do have some extra seedlings left and these um these are mostly peppers over here and the green onions so I might put in, um, take these all out, 
they're not planted yet, but put in some cukes, cucumbers along this side, maybe in this quadrant here, and uh, maybe just fill the space with some more peppers. I was thinking sweet potatoes at one point, but I just don't have the room and I want everything to grow really well. But garden is doing great. I'm really excited about this. And uh, you know, the next step is to make sure I get all the grow bags in place and uh, get the liner in place and the drain. Not in that order, drain first, then liner, then fill up the grow bags and plant everything out. But things are coming along in the garden. I hope your gardens are growing well. The idea here is really low maintenance, hardly any watering, um, you know, just fire and forget, plant it and forget it, as far as watering goes anyway. And really there's no weeding. Well, I've got a lot of propellers in here. Maples have been dropping tons so I'll be trying to clean those out, make sure I don't get any maple trees growing. Um, but Julie was looking at this and she's like, make me one of these for the herb garden on the patio next year. Will do, will do. So that's what's happening in the garden. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great week. If you like this video, hit subscribe. If you wanna see how this grows, if it doesn't, if it fails, you know, follow me, follow me, subscribe. Hit the little, uh, hit the little subscribe button hit the little, uh, little bell to be notified. And uh, really what we're trying to do here is to have self-watering systems that don't take much maintenance because you don't want this to happen to your plants. You don't want crunchy, dead plants that are starting to come back. But my God, they could have been so much better. All right, fam, this is what's happening in the garden. Time to get busy. And I'll talk to you later. This is Tom from Small Scale Gardening. I hope you're well and continue to garden. Learn to grow, be a little better every day. Go get them. Talk to you later. Bye.